असा सा गद अज अदी पारस सैयद असा सा गद आए अदी पारस सैयद इज अ ग्रेट ग्राउंड डॉटर ऑफ साइन जीएम सैयद शी इज मेंबर ऑफ जीएम सैयद मेमोरियल कमेटी मिस सैयद हैज बीन वेरी एक्टिव टू एजुकेट द मासिस about the ideology of saint gm said at different forms so we welcome adi paras sayed and uh, request him request her to speak on her great grandfather au kuch shayu padhan des saint jila as a grandfather mujhe unhe ke hisab se unhe ke padhan des ladies and gentlemen a very good evening today i'm very much thankful to all of you for inviting me as a speaker to speak on the life and the struggle of veteran nationalist leader sai jm sayed though he was my great grandfather but my love and tribute to him is given today being a person who lived for sindh and struggled for the freedom of sindhi nation from all kind of slaveries sai jm sayed was a pure soul who always struggled to find the purpose of life he learned from the history that living with purpose is the actual worth of life and he found his purpose in the prosperity development and freedom of sindh and sindhi people in his early age of childhood he was inspired by mahatma gandhi after visiting him at sun station he started wearing khadi and participated in larkana khilafat conference he also convened khilafat conference at sun being an orphan having under wardenship of then british government he was warned not to conduct the khilafat conference at sun but he decided to live his life to resist the injustice and inequality of every kind in the british colonial period sindhi muslim were mostly ignored and deprived of the basic needs sai gm sayed started with social services to uplift the society with education he believed that the voice of people may only be stronger when they have education and awareness to understand their rights sai gm sayed started his political journey from khilafat movement to get freedom from british raj but his ideology destined to amane alam ittehad e insani tarakki e bani adam world peace unity of human kind and evolution of human because he found that sindh has some special ideology for the world that he named pagham e sindh from his political journey he learned that pagham e sindh may not only be spread until unless sindh is not having its freedom sindh was created by nature since it's been but sai gm sai had strived for building sindhi nation with new foundations he studied world history culture religion and a lot on every topic related to his life and struggle and he found shah abdul latif bitai is the source of rebuilding the nation shah latif was known by every common sindhi as sufi saint but after writing of pagham e sindh latif by sai gm sayed poetry of latif was taken as a message of love for the land love for the people of land harmony with the ecosystem defeating the hurdles and difficulties courage to fight for cause struggle of life and purpose of life to live to live and let others live above all this sai gm sayed portrait latif as a messenger for world peace and harmony to merge the thoughts of east latif was known by every common sindhi as sufi saint but after writing of pagham e sindh by sai gm sayed poetry of latif was taken as a message of love for the land sai gm sayed had learned that in older times through the centuries of human history whatever was been done by the messengers of god and the saints of every religion it was for the development change and the freedom of mankind but he found that in the modern world politics is the vibrant tool to do this all from the day one entering into politics till his death he engaged himself in political activities whenever government banned on political activities he adopted the culture and sufi paths to remain in the people of sindh to educate them for their rights and whenever he was arrested to put behind bars or limited to house by house arrest he used to read and write as much as he can he deeply paved the strong foundation necessary to build the nation he discovered the national heroes of sindh to give us courage he sketched sindhi culture to give us identity he draw a road map which leads us to freedom in other words 
I may say he was a social architect who designed a new synth and became its founder. Saim G.M. Sayed, being the founder of New Sindhi Nation, he committed his life for synth. His every step in life was meaningless if synth was not there. For his commitment and struggle, he was ready for every sacrifice. He was knowing the cost to pay for the freedom of Sindh. He said, in the last lines I will conclude, he said, Mujhe hik hath mein Sindh ji azadiye jo parwanu ahe. And de hath mein munjo sir poe bhi usodo sasto hundo. That's all. Thank you so much.